Hello guys and welcome to Swiss Network. Today I'm giving you another Photoshop tutorial and I'm going to be teaching you guys how to uh, make borders using the pen tool in Photoshop. So let's just jump in, uh, create a new document, not open, fail. Um, make it whatever size you want. Uh, and I'm just broke at the moment, so we do trackpad, so I've got it like I'm a retard at doing this. Okay, so first we're just going to create a new layout. And I'm going to go to our pen tool. And I find it helps if I put rulers on. So I'm just going to hit uh, a point there and then hold shift and do that so I get a straight line. And then I want a nice sort of beveled bit here. So now I'm going to do a ruler so I can make sure that uh, my line is actually going to be straight. Uh, sorry, wait, I need to do that. Put it on that back line. So then I know that I can line it up. So if I do this, I can just hold shift to make sure that line's straight. And then by eye, you're going to want to try and get this line straight as possible. Which is hard with a trackpad, I must admit. Having extreme difficulty doing this. It's probably pretty amusing for you guys. I look like a total retard. And <laughs> again, okay, that looks somewhat even. Then I'm just gonna hold shift again, and this time I'm gonna do like a large bit here. drop down, and then I'm gonna do my ruler uh, like so. Hold shift, come back up like this, and then down, and hold shift, and then go back up. Then I've got long, come up, come out, uh, drag a ruler over to this point here, shift, come in, that looks terrible there, uh, come in, like so, come up, come down, um, trying to think of something else we can do, maybe you can do like an arc if you wanted to, uh, I don't see how that's going to work. Um, no, that's definitely not going to work. Try not to erase the whole thing like I just did. Um, yeah, we'll just come along a bit. Come out. Uh, it's time to say some Russian this now. I really want this to be a short tutorial. I'm just sort of teaching you guys the methods what you do once you have your bordered pen tool lines type thing. Okay, that looks pretty standardized to me. Um, so that's our borders. So you can just snap the rulers off. Um, drag these away. Okay. So once we have this, we go back to our pen tool, right click, and make selection. We have a feather radius of zero, anti alive checked, and new selection as our operation. Now we're going to do Control Shift I on your keyboard, and then hit Alt and Backspace to fill that. Um, so there we actually have our border outline. Um, of course now you can do an overlay, uh, you can use brushes, you can use textures, which I'm going to do because it's faster. Uh, I'm trying to text you somewhere. This looks okay. Oh, my god, place. Uh, I don't know how it's going to look. But anyway, um, so we're just going to rasterize this. Our texture, and I'm going to hit Alt on our keyboard, come in between the two layers to so get a drop down arrow of the box, and apply it as a layer mask. So now we have our layer mask. I'm actually going to desaturate the layer by the image adjustments desaturate. Makes it black and white. And then control U, I'm going to do I'm going to play around with the colour. Uh colorize. Play around the colour a little. I'm actually going to drop the saturation. Um that's looking okay. okay. I'm, not <coughs> I'm not actually keen on the um On the uh, texture itself, but we'll deal with it. I'm actually just going to add a pattern really quickly. 
That will do for this. <coughs> right now go to the layer style on your borders. And we're gonna want to do uh outer glow, maybe not, inner glow, inner glow, uh change it to black, change it to normal, opacity hundred percent, and then you can just drag the opacity uh the uh the size up. I would just recommend twenty or something. It looks okay. And then if we go to this we'll do a drop shadow. Uh actually you no, know, we'll do a outer glow and we'll make that black. We'll set it to normal. Capacity hundred percent. Size, drag that up a little. And you get this sort of effect and it's looking pretty nice. Um it's actually curved the edges which is what I wanted to do. So now they're not sharp edges apart from here, which is kind of annoying and here. But otherwise they're um, pretty flat curved edges because of the uh outer glow, as you can see here, it's curved the edges or makes them look curved. Um and then you can just sort of add text or something. Uh, uh like so. Just add some text. And what font I've got. I fail to spell that again. I do this every episode if you guys don't know this. I always misspell network because I suck. Um, no, just phones go mental. Um, I'll just have this font here. If you guys want to know what the font is, it's called Unrealized. Just go on the font. That font and search it up to find it pretty easily. All, all the fonts that I'll, I will use will always be from the font 99.9% of the time. Not always because I, I sometimes find fonts which I like, which will be on other websites. I'm just really quickly, I don't even know why I'm adding a layer style. I don't want to finish a video where I haven't completed what I've been doing. Uh, But you guys kind of get the gist of what we're doing. Um, right now, I'm just playing with some settings. Uh, I will end the video when I'm done. Find it again. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's it, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I will. I, this time I might put a PSD link in the description for you guys if you cannot be bothered to, um, to do this tutorial even though it takes two minutes. Some of you might not be very good with a pencil, I don't know. Uh, if I can do it with a trackpad then I'm sure anyone else can. <laughs> anyway guys, uh, subscribe for more videos and tutorials and that's why guys, bye.